Hey you guys! So before I go for work, I just thought I would share a small creative tip. You guys know how handy thin washi tapes are when you are doing your journal pages or creating a scrapbook layout or making any, any creative project. Please excuse me for all this traffic and all those um, sound of the bells and everything that you can hear behind the video. But I just love all that. I mean, it adds a lot of flavor to the video <laughs> because it's quite boring to keep hearing me for quite a long time. Um, so let me keep it quite short. So the the let's get back to video. See now, if you have standard washi tapes, and it's kind of pretty difficult to find, um, uh, you know, pretty thin washi tapes in India unless and until uh, there is some offer that happens in the online Indian craft stores uh, you get them at a very cheap price otherwise they tend to be uh, quite pricey so I never buy thin washi tapes unless and until the price suits my range or my budget so all I do is I have these standard washi tapes standard size washi tapes and I just um, bake them into thin washi tapes now that's what i'm going to show you so all you need is a standard washi tape of your choice and if you have a fiskars trimmer or any paper trimmer for that matter you can use that if you don't have a trimmer also i am going to come to your rescue so all that i have done is you take the washi to the um, length that you want so this is the uh, length that I have chosen here and I have just stuck it onto the uh, place where the blade runs to save time because I just wanted to avoid the hassle of cutting the washi and then putting it here and all that so all that you have to do is take the washi to the size that you want I mean to the length that you want oh my god I get so nervous when I'm in front of the camera and just just place it onto that uh, gap wherein the blade runs and then you just run the blade up and down like two or three times because my blade I think has got a bit you know it's not that sharp that's what I wanted to tell and then just peel out and ta -da! don't you see that don't you see that effect so you change a uh, um, standard size washi to a uh, same size so this is one which I have created I mean um, I mean these are thin washi tapes which I have cut out using my Fiskars paper trimmer using the uh, yeah paper trimmer so now I'm just going to glue this on somewhere where shall I glue it shall I put it here I know blue and blue doesn't coordinate but still I love that effect that's good and probably you know that's how it is so that's how easy it is now, if you don't have a paper trimmer of, or anything, please don't bother. I, I guess all of you would be having a scissor in your craft area. Just take the scissor and cut it. Like supposing if it is him, just generally what I do is I ask my husband to hold the other end. And um, you now I'm just going to cut it through the middle. I am a perfectionist but in the video it's not going to be that perfect because I tend to get nervous and the whole intention is to give you an idea of how you need to do it. So that's how neat the tape is. I hope you guys can see. So one is a bit broad when compared to the other one but that's okay. So that's how it is. That's how it looks. So what I do is I ask my husband to hold the other end of the washi tape and then I keep cutting and then I keep chatting and once the cutting is done I go and give him a peck on his cheek and that's how it is so two advantages I <laughs> it's like I have my creative me time and I also get a chance to kiss him wow am I not the most clever one now that's it so that's the tip for the day how to turn your standard size washi into thin washi tapes hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comments box down below whether you are going to use it in your upcoming projects or whether you have already been using it so whatever it is or just leave a comment for no reason that's all it makes me happy so have an amazing day love you bye bye